Facial verification is not a new concept. Big tech has already adopted this in various forms. And now Singapore will soon become the world's first island country to use facial verification in its national ID scheme. This next report has more details. The Singapore government's plans to incorporate facial verification technology in its national ID scheme has ruffled a few feathers, to put it mildly. Privacy advocates are alarmed and they call it an intrusive system vulnerable to abuse. To understand this better, it is important to note the difference between facial verification and facial recognition. There is a fine line of difference indeed. Facial recognition is mostly combined with CCTV scanning to match faces against a database of a known person or in many cases suspected criminals. In this process, one may not even be aware that they are undergoing a facial recognition scan. However, when it comes to facial verification, this technology confirms that your physical face matches the one in the ID document, a technology that has already been adopted in various forms around the world, with Apple and Google implementing it for tasks like unlocking phones and making payments. It is different from face recognition which is used, uh, for example, in surveillance. All right. So the big difference uh, between these two is that face verification is an intentional uh, uh, process. It requires the users to present themselves, okay, to provide consent. This move would make Singapore the world's first country to use facial verification. Millions of people would soon be able to access government agencies, banking services, etc. with just a quick face scan. As a matter of fact, this is being trialed now at some government offices, including the tax authority and the city's pension fund. Singapore's biggest bank, DBS, is part of the trial. We have to be very cautious about whether consent is genuinely you know, informed and uh, freely given in these kind of contexts, speak with the power imbalance between yourself and the government, but also between people and the institutions like the banks and others using this kind of, um, using this kind of technology. Facial recognition, however, still remains controversial. There are reservations still. Many have raised ethical concerns and the fact that Singapore authorities are frequently accused of targeting government critics and taking a hard line on dissent is not working in favor of this new scheme at all. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.